Computer Network Architecture A computer network architecture refers to the way, how computers are organized in a network. It defines how the computers should be connected, to get the maximum advantages of a computer network, such as better response time, security, scalability etc. The two most important computer network architectures are, peer-to-peer -peer architecture, and client-server architecture. Peer-to-peer -peer architecture. In peer-to-peer -peer architecture, all the computers in a computer network, are connected with every computer in the network. There is no central computer that acts as a server. Every computer have equal status. Advantages of a peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Less costly as there is no central server. If one computer in the network stops working, all other computers in the network are not affected, and they will continue to work as same as before. Installation of peer-to-peer -peer architecture is quite easy. Disadvantages of a peer-to-peer -peer architecture Each computer in the network has to take the backup separately, and the security measures are to be taken by all the computers separately. Scalability is a problem in a peer-to-peer -peer architecture, as connecting each computer to every computer is a headache on a very large network. Client-Server Architecture In client-server architecture, a central computer acts as a server, and serves all the requests from client computers. All the shared data is stored in the server, which is shared with the client computers when a request is made by the client computers. All the communication between the client computers take place through the server. Advantages of client-server architecture Data backup is easy, and less cost, as there is no need to manage the backup on each computer. Performance is better, because the server is more powerful than the other computers in the network. Security is better, as unauthorized access are denied by server, and all the data goes to the client computer through the server. Scalability is not an issue in this architecture, as large number of computers can be connected with server. Disadvantages of client-server architecture In case of server failure, entire network is down. Server maintenance cost is high, as the server is the main component in this architecture cost is high, as the server needs more resources to handle. Every week you will be notified by a new video. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.